Hey guys, I'm really excited because today I'm going to be setting up another JoJo inspired room. So this room is going to be a candy room inspired from her music video Kid in a Candy Store. It's such a great song and it's so much fun so I thought it'd be a perfect room to set up. So it has a lot of candy everywhere and it's taken a while to set up because I've had to place a lot of candy in jars and I can't wait to show you guys the room. So let's get right into it. But before we do, be sure to comment down below the question, what is your favorite milkshake flavor? Okay, so now it's time to get into into the video. Now that I've completely set up the room, it's time to talk about it. So first off, I have this really cool sign. It says candy because it's obviously a candy store. And what I really love about these pieces is that they light up and I chose different colors as well. There's rose gold in the back and there's silver in the front and it spells out candy. 
Underneath the candy stein, we have this really large shelf full of items, so let's take a look and see what I've placed there. So a lot of the items actually come from Samantha's parlor, so we have the cash register, and I placed coins inside as well, and I can place notes in there later on, but the coins are perfectly fine for now. And then we just have different scoops of ice cream, and they look so delicious. And the other piece on the other side is also from Samantha's ice cream parlor, and it's a little menu showing everything you can buy. Underneath that there are three circles and that's where we're storing all of the ice cream So there's three different flavors that they sell, but I've also placed vanilla ice cream everywhere But that's perfectly fine. It says on the menu that they serve strawberry chocolate and mint So that's what I've placed in there and what's really cool about it is that you can put a lid on top So it stays nice and secure on the side of the parlor, there's a huge cupboard area, and on top, there's two milk bottle jars filled up with candy, and it's so delicious, and I really love how this turned out, so I actually got mini-sized candy, and I just placed it inside. There's different types. There's the normal rainbow lollipops, and then there's the also really thin ones, and they all look so delicious and yummy, and JoJo had these in her music video as well. I'm not too sure if they were milk bottle jars. That's the only thing that I could find, but she definitely had jars filled with lollipops. Let's take a look at the shelf. So on the top row, we have some mini size Coke bottles and they are so cute and it kind of ties the whole ice cream parlor together. I just feel like it's something that you would definitely sell at an ice cream parlor. And next to that, we have a blender with some chocolate milkshake. And as for the last three rows, we have candy jars everywhere filled up with candy. And that's exactly what Jojo did in her music video. So I had to do that as well since this is an inspired room. We have gummies and jelly beans and everything like that. Everything looks so delicious and I just want to eat it all. So to split the room up so I'm not just showing you guys candy jars, after candy jars, here is a really cool section. So basically I placed American Girl doll food everywhere. We have cupcakes, ice creams, macarons, and they can just be fake little display foods. Like when you go into an ice cream store, they have fake ice creams to show what they sell. So that's what I have here, which is why there's just random pieces of ice cream standing up. And I feel like it's really cute and I love the cupcakes. On top of the display shelf, we have some more milk bottle jars filled up with candy, and it just looks so delicious. Again, I already showed you guys the red and blue ones before, except these jars are really pretty. It's pink and turquoise. When Jojo walks into her candy store, there is a really large gumball machine, and it's really fancy and pretty, so that's why I had to try and find a gumball machine as well that kind of suited the room, and this was the only one I could find. It doesn't really look like hers, but I still felt like I had to add a gumball machine. It's really cool. I did show how it works. It goes all the way down, and I feel like it's a really cool piece. As for the next section, we have a bunch of candy jars everywhere. So right on the top, this piece is so cool. It's actually from Samantha's Ice Cream Parlor. It says candies on it, and I think it's meant to be candy for ice cream toppings. Underneath that candy jar or the candy toppings, there's more candy jars since it is a candy store. So we have two shelves. We've got two really small jars in the middle and then four long thin ones on the bottom. One of my favorite parts of the room would have to be the counter. It is so cute and I love all the little doll food place there and all the dolls can come and sit down and enjoy all their yummy treats. So let's take a look and see what I've placed there. So first off we have this really gorgeous cake which is from Grace's collection and it's sitting on this really fun stand. And on the back we have some chocolate sauce and sprinkles that you can place on your ice cream or any of your treats. And in front of that we have four cupcakes in a cupcake tray sitting on an ice cream napkin. And as for the front of the counter, I've set it up to make it look like dolls have ordered their food and it's all ready to go and all they need to do is come and sit down and enjoy it. So we have this really cute bowl from Samantha's Ice Cream Parlor and it's got three flavors of ice cream, mint, strawberry, and chocolate and those were the pieces that came in the set and it's sitting on a napkin. And then next to that we have a menu showing everything you can order but obviously there's more items because we've got cakes and cupcakes here as well. There's some chocolate milkshakes in the back and we saw the blender next to the cookie bottles and then on the other plate we have some ice cream sandwiches and an ice cream cone. This really cute pale pink chair came with Samantha's ice cream parlor so I decided to place it in the room but the only thing is it was kind of boring just having it there by itself so I placed the really cute pillow on top of it and it says sweet dreams and it has sprinkles everywhere. 
And inside of the counter, there are some shelves. So let's see what I've placed in there. We have some ice cream cones in the back in case if some dolls want to order their ice cream in cones instead of on the plates or in the cups, which is perfectly fine. We have two in the back there. And we also have another box with ice cream cones. There's a little vanilla ice cream box there as well. And in the front, we have a scooper so you can scoop out all of the ice cream from the container. We also have some napkins and cups on the bottom. The candy store is completely set up and I'm so happy with how it turned out but the only thing it's missing is my Jojo doll so now it's time to get her ready so I can place her in the candy store. Now that I've completely dressed my Luna doll, it is time to talk about her. So Luna's been used as Jojo quite a few times, so that's why I decided to use her in this video as well. I have her hair in a side ponytail and I've used a pink bow and I tried to copy the outfit that she's worn in the music video, but it's obviously pretty hard because the outfit is amazing and I don't actually have those clothing pieces. So she's wearing a pink shirt with a unicorn on it. So I tried to find a pink shirt with some sort of graphic on it and it says let's celebrate and has a bunch of cakes on it and since it is a candy store I decided to choose this t-shirt instead since I didn't have one with a unicorn on it and then she's wearing a really glittery silver white skirt so I chose this gray one because I didn't have anything similar to that so that's why I picked the outfit and she's wearing pink sneakers so I decided to pick these really cute pink glittery ones so I know it's not exactly like the outfit she's wearing but I tried to pick something pretty similar and I feel like it still suits the candy store anyways Overall, I had so much fun setting up JoJo's candy store. I tried to make it as realistic as possible by placing candy everywhere and of course including the gumball machine too. And I know the outfit isn't exactly like the one she's wearing in the music video, but I tried to pick skirts, shoes, and a shirt that looked a lot like the ones that did. And I hope I did get it right. So be sure to comment down below the question I asked right at the start of the video, which is what is your favorite milkshake flavor? So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it.